Hello there everyone, it's Hawkins back again with another video on Starfield. I thought since 2023 has just begun it would be a good time to actually pull together everything I actually know about Starfield and put it in a video so that we've got a nice basis to look forward to it in 2023 with all the facts in one place. So yeah, please do like and subscribe this video as it does help the channel. And yeah, let's get right into it. What do we actually know about Starfield at this point? Okay, so let's get the big one out of the way first. There is no official release date yet for Starfield. Just the other day, Bethesda's support page for Starfield went live and it does say that it's going to be in the first half of 2023, but whether they actually stick to that, oh, who knows. We know that when it releases, it will be an exclusive on Xbox and PC and will be day one on Game Pass. And just for Xbox users out there, you will only be able to play this on the Series X or S which I think is a good thing if you take into account what's happened to other games in the past where they have tried to shoehorn into older generations of consoles and it has just been an absolute disaster. I think with them basing it on the Creation 2 engine, sticking to next gen is the right idea. So Starfield is going to be set in the year 2330, so a wee bit further ahead in our future, and is going to be 20 years after the war between the Union of Allied Planets and the Independence, which, wait, hang on, nope, sorry, that's my Firefly notes, um, it's going to be set after the war between the United Colonies and the Freestar Collective. Set in an area roughly 50 light years from Earth in an area known as the Settled Systems. Along with the United Colonies and Freestar Collective, there's also going to be Constellation, which is the starting faction for the player, and they're going to basically be explorers trying to discover what these strange artifacts are. Uh, there's going to be the Crimson Fleet, which is a joinable space pirate faction, which could be fun for those that want to be evil, or maybe be good pirates, I don't know, is that a thing? There's going to be Reusion Industries, which is one of the mega corporations that exists in the Starfield universe. And there will apparently be some other factions in the game, but there is not a lot of information readily available about them at this point. Starfield will be comprised of around 100 star systems with over a thousand planets that will be accessible to players. Much like other Bethesda games, these systems will be leveled, so you'll have 1 to 10. 10 to 15 maybe, and then ones that will be over level 40. This we learned when Todd Howard did his interview with Lex Friedman. We also know that there are going to be four major cities, that being New Atlantis, Aquila, and Neon City. There has been no information released on the fourth city, but it does look like it could possibly be tied into the storyline, my personal belief being that it will be like an alien city or something like that. Also recently in Constellation Questions, lead quest designer Will Shen talked about the main quest and confirmed we'll be able to travel to the Soul System, which will reveal what has actually happened to Earth, as we don't know anything about the situation on Earth right now, but I think again it's going to be something that's going to be very Firefly related. There is no seamless transition in between planets and space either, so it's a load screen, so when you leave the planet it's a cutscene of you leaving, and when you land on the planet, it's a cutscene of you traveling from space to the planet's surface. Okay, so moving on, the main quest line. What information we do have about it is that it will be working with Constellation to discover what is with the artifacts that we keep finding on different planets. Not much else has been stated about the main quest line. It's also been confirmed that the main story will be between 30 to 40 hours of gameplay alone so it's shaping up to be one of the largest games that Bethesda has done and when you look at the sheer quantity of lines that are in the game as well over 250,000 of them you get an idea of the sheer scope of what Bethesda are aiming to do with Starfield. It does make me wonder just how large Starfield is going to be in the end because with 30 to 40 hours for the main storyline alone, and then you've got side quests that are possibly going to come out the wazoo. This looks like a game that you're going to be living for a long time. Okay, so that's the broader stuff out of the way. Now I want to look at some of the more finer details about things that we know. With Starfield, Bethesda have decided to go with one of the most in-depth character creations that they've ever done. 
You can really tailor and personalize your own personal look for your character. There is a multitude of backgrounds to select from, and they will give you your starting skills and traits. Now, traits are optional choices that can really mix up your character with unique advantages and disadvantages. And there will also be quest lines that you can do in-game in order to get rid of the negative side effects of those traits. Your character will have access to five different skill trees. These comprise of physical, social, combat, science, and tech. And as you level up, you can unlock new skills in each of these skill trees. And as you use the skills themselves, you will then rank up those skills until you complete the challenges and max them out. There's also an expansive crafting system that allows you to do research and development with resources you've collected along your journey. So you can make better bases, weapons, gear. We know that there are going to be different types of suits that you can create or find. So I do wonder what I will be able to put together to give me lots of different buffs and modifiers for my characters on different playthroughs and also more importantly look awesome while doing so and that segues nicely onto the next bit which is about base building so very much like fallout 4 settlement building system in starfield we can actually build outposts these outposts can apparently be built on pretty much any planet that we can land on it looks like they will actually be our primary source of resources where we land on a planet, discover what's available, set up our outpost and then head off and then come back and find out what's there. And to do that, we can actually also hire characters to work at our outposts, which I think could be really, really cool. I would hope, though, that they would have a little bit more to do in game than the Fallout 4 settlers where you just ask them to dig up this plant so that there was enough food for other settlers i'm hoping that they will implement more side quests that actually use the people who work in your outposts alongside base building we'll also have fully customizable ships and i cannot wait to see what kind of unique variations that people do with these ships depending on what type of parts we have on our ship it will dictate how far we can actually travel todd howard stated in his interview with lex friedman that when you run out of fuel it stops your game and it's a fun killer so they've opted for a kind of persistent fuel system so that you're not left stranded out in the middle of space although i do kind of hope that there's a mod at some point that does bring in that survival aspect back but i can understand why it launched they probably want people to be playing the game not sitting around in their ships wondering if they're going to be able to fly somewhere and alongside manable outposts we're going to have crewable ships so we're going to be able to hire people to actually be a member of our crew and i'm genuinely excited to see sort of what kind of variety we're going to be able to see and build up my own space communities and then possibly have some unique quests that are tied to people that i've hired and just like other bethesda games there will be companions that we can actually have with us but so far we've had zero details about any of them other than vasco our faithful robot companion that travels with us they did say that there would be a romance system and a much more nuanced one than last time but that's all we know and the last thing I can really think about talking about was the small reveal we had of the dialogue system that was out during the first Constellation Questions, where we got a brief look at how the new dialogue minigame will work. And as Bethesda have stated, it was very much drawn from their Oblivion one. And I think it could be good, but I don't know. I'm going to wait and see how it works before I, before I make any conclusions on this one, because I found Oblivion's one irritating at times, but then... When has there been a very good speech system? But they're fairly certain that this speech system is going to be their best one yet. So time will tell. And that, I think, wraps up pretty much everything we actually know about Starfield at the moment. I mean, I think it's a bit sad that it can be compressed into maybe a 10 minute video. I would have liked there to have been more out by now. Heck, I would have loved that the game was actually released by now. But I also think that delaying it was the best idea that they had and I'm in no rush to hear a specific release date yet unless I know that the game is actually going to come out working and bug free because Bethesda really needs Starfield to be a success in order to regain some of that lost consumer trust from their fans and also from people who just like to play games. Starfield flopping would be an absolute catastrophe for them and I really hope it isn't because 
I love Bethesda games, and I really want to see Elder Scrolls 6, and I really want to see Fallout 5. But that's enough for me. If you think I've missed anything, or know of something that I have missed, please feel free to leave a comment down below so that I can maybe look into it in the future. But for now, that is me done, I think, with everything that we know. So until the next video, take care.